Today's story is called Mosquito. Mosquito. Okay, mosquito. Insect. Okay, mosquito. Once upon a time, a long time ago, there was a young man and a young woman. There was a young man who was a farmer, rice farmer, and there was a young woman who was his wife, and they lived together in a rural area. Rural area. Rural means countryside not a city, okay? They lived in a rural area, and he was a farmer, and he was a rice farmer. Now, he loved his wife very much, but they were very, very poor, and so he wanted to improve their life for her, and so he worked hard every day. He toiled, he toiled, and he worked, the same thing, he worked hard, he toiled to make their life become better, to improve their life, life. And so uh, he worked hard. He was a good man and he loved her very much and his love for her was genuine. Genuine. Genuine means true. He loved her truly and he worked hard for her. He was not very demanding. He was a very gentle man. So he didn't say, do this, do that, you know. He was not, he did not demand much. Demand, he did not ask much from her, okay. And so, uh, uh, and so he thought she was happy because he was not very demanding. So he thought she was happy. He thought they were just destined, destined, destined to be together forever because he loved her. You know, it was meant to be. It is fated. We love each other. And he was happy. Now, he thought she felt the same. He thought she felt the same. He thought that she was happy too. Okay? But she wasn't. She acted like she was happy, but she wasn't happy. She was not a good woman. She was a lazy woman. She was not only lazy, she was a coquette. Co -que she was a coquette. Coquette means she's a flirt. She flirt. Flirt means when she sees a young man, and he is handsome, he goes, she goes, she flirts, okay? When you're married, you shouldn't be doing things like that, right? But she liked other men, so she flirted. But he didn't know that. She's stupid, but she is smart enough. She is clever enough that she did not let him know that she, he was a coquette, okay? Now, a, so he worked hard. He, I, I, yeah, I told you, he toiled, he really worked hard. But he didn't know much about her. One day, she died. One day she died, and of course, he was very unhappy because he loved her very much. He cried, and he decided that he didn't want to live in the rural area anymore. And so he decided to leave his uh, uh, country and go somewhere. He did not want to bury her uh, wife, so he put her in a box. Okay, he put her. He put her in a box. We call it a coffin. Yeah, he, he put her in a coffin and he bought a boat. And so he put the coffin in the boat, okay? 
And then he got on the boat and he wrote the boat and he sailed away. He didn't want to live in the place where he used to live anymore. So he left the rural area and he left. Okay? He didn't know where he was going, but he left. Now, he was, he was you know, the, the, okay, he was rowing and he had a box here, okay, big. And he was on the, he was, he was rowing uh, on water, on the water. He came to a land and so he decided to go ashore, go ashore. He wanted to go ashore, yeah. So he went, okay, he began to walk, and then there he met a man, okay, well, the same, same heights, okay. So he was there, and the, he met a man. Now this man was an old man, he was an old man, so he was, this is a cane, he was walking with a cane. He had a long beard, okay, beard, 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 I think. He had a long beard, he had long hair on his chin, long beard, and he was walking with a cane, and uh, he said hello to the old man. The old man said hello, and when this uh, young man, his name was Noktam, Noktam saw the old man, he realized, oh, I know this man. This man is a magic man. He can make magic medicine for the sick people. He is a famous magic person, okay, genie of medicine. And so uh, Noktam, Noktam said to the old man, he said, oh, please help me. He said, oh, please help me. Old man said, what can I do for you? What can I do for you? He said. And then Noktam said, okay, Noktam. Old man said, what can I do? Okay, what can I do for you? He said. And then, okay, what can I do for you? And then he said, Please help me. My wife just died. I would like you to give me medicine so that my wife can come back alive, he said to him. And then the old man said, Oh, you don't want to do that, he said. You don't want your wife to come back alive. And he said, Oh, yes, I do. He said, Why, he said, I feel sorry for you. He said, why do you cling to, cling to, why do you cling to something that is so inconstant, inconsistent, inconstant, yeah, inconstant, inconstant means something very easily changed, okay, why do you Cling to means hold on to. Why do you hold on to something that changes so easily? He said, why do you cling on to things, cling to things that makes you angry or that makes you disappointed or something that, some, or somebody who treats you unfairly? Why do you trust your destiny? Ah. Destiny. Why do you trust your destiny on something that is not so trustworthy? He said. But, but uh, Noktam said, but he loved his wife. He wanted his wife to come back alive. The man said, you will regret. Regret means you you'll be sorry later. You you won't like it. Your wife may come back alive, but you will not like it. You will regret. You'll be sorry. He said, "No, I won't be sorry." So he said, "All right." 
he said, give me your finger. So he said, here, this is my finger. He said, yes, and, okay, finger. He took a knife, okay, knife. He took a knife and cut the tip of his finger, tip. Tip means the end of the finger. He cut the tip of his finger with a knife and then blood came out. Blood, okay? He said, give the blood, give three, three drops of blood to your wife and then she will come back alive. So, Noctum went to his dead wife and the dead wife was dead, you know, dead. His wife was dead. Okay. And but he opened opened her mouth. And then he cut his finger, cut the tip of his finger, and then three drops of blood came out and so he gave the three drops of blood to her. Okay? Tuk, tuk, tuk. Then soon her cheek became rosy and her heart began to tuk, 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 move and then soon she opened her eyes. Can you see? She soon opened her eyes. Noctum was very, very happy to see that she was alive. The genie of medicine said to Nandeep, Nandeep is this girl's, girl's name. He said to Nandeep, Nandeep, your husband loves you. Your husband uh, 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 loves you genuinely. Her, his love for you is genuine. Genuine. Don't forget that his, don't forget that your, your husband loves you. Don't forget his devotion. Devotion. Devotion is like he loves her with all his heart. Not half-heartedly, but he loves her 100%. Okay? Devotion. He loves you genuinely and don't forget his devotion. She said, I will not forget, I love my husband too, she said, okay. I don't know if it's true, but she said that, okay. Anyway, he said, good luck, and Noctam and Nandi left the, uh, left the uh, land and uh, get, got on the boat and got on the boat Two people got on the boat and they began to sail to go home. Okay. But uh, Noktam really wanted to go home quickly because uh, he wanted to go back to the, the house where they lived together. Uh, although he sold his house anymore, but he wanted to go back to his country. So he, uh, uh, he, um, uh, rowed and rowed, uh, row, row your boat, yeah, row. He rowed his boat uh, very uh, hard, uh, but then he was tired because he, 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 he really worked hard and he needed some food. And so he, when he came to another land, he said to uh, Nandeep, I have to go get some food. And so he said, wait on the boat, in the boat, I will be right back. And so he left. He went ashore and he left. Yeah. Ah. He left. He left. Yes. Da, 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 da. He left. And 
uh, Nandip was sitting in a boat, on a boat or in a boat, and he, she was waiting for him to come back. Then, okay, then there came a big ship, big ship, and on the ship there was a man, and this man looked at, looked at Nandeep, and he thought, wow, she is pretty. He was bang, struck by her beauty. Strike, strike, struck, struck. He was struck by her beauty. And he said to Nandeep, Hello, would you like to come to my ship and have some refreshment? Refresh, refresh, refreshment. Refreshment means wine and a cheese or sandwich or soda. So he said, would you like to come to the boat, to come to my ship to have, my, have some refreshment with me? And so she said yes, and she went. She went to the boat. She went to the boat. Why did she go? I don't know. Do you know why? Because he was a rich man. He lived. He uh, he had a big big ship. Her husband had a little boat, but this guy had a big ship. So he went. She went. Now, as she knows, as soon as she was on this boat, this man said to the captain of the ship, sail away, sail away. And so the ship began to go away very quickly. So when, when not knocked on, came back, Menoktan came back from grocery shopping, his wife was gone. He called his wife, Nandeep, Nandeep, where did you go? Where are you? But she was nowhere to be seen. He got on the, sh he got on the boat, he got on the boat, and he rode his boat for one month. One month. He rode his boat for one month and he looked for his wife. After one month, he found a boat. On a boat, there was Nandeep. Nandeep was on the boat. So he said to Nandeep, What are you doing? Come back to my boat, he said to his wife. And then his wife said, No, I'm not coming back. And he said, Why? And then she said, I don't want to go back to the rice field. I like this life, rich life on this big ship. He said, she said, I don't want to go back to the poor farming life, she said to her husband. When, she, when he heard this, when he heard this, he finally saw her in to, um, he finally saw her true color, true colors. She, he finally saw that she did not really love him. She, he finally understood that um, her love for him was not genuine. He finally understood 
that she did not love him as much as he loved her. What the genie of medicine, the magic man, uh, medicine man, what he said was true. He regret. He regretted it. Wow. I spent so much time and I spent so much effort to look for her and um, have her come back, come back, come back alive. But I don't like her anymore. Suddenly, his love for her. <laughs> Banished. Gone. He said, All right, you're free. You are free. You can go anywhere you want. But he said, I want you to give me my blood back. He said, I gave you the th I gave you three drops of my blood. Please give me those three blood three drops of blood. Three drops. Three drop three drops of blood back he, he said to her she said sure that's easy she was happy she was happy to be to she was happy to find that she can become free from her husband with just three drops of blood so she took oops she took a knife and she took a knife and she cut the tip of her finger and then she gave the one, two, three drops of blood back to him. Then what happened was that her eyes was closed and her face became pale. Pale become, means white and blue and bang! She fell down and she died. She fell down and she died. She died. No. But she died, but she did not want to die. She wanted to come back as a human being again. And so what she did was she what she did was that yes this this here she's dead but she changed herself into a insect she became an insect and she began to fly to uh noctum and noctum is looking wow the woman became a became an insect, but this insect began to fly around it, fly around, around, buzz around. This insect began to buzz around him constantly, without stopping, uh, continuously incessant incessantly the insect buzz or buzzed around him because this insect wanted three drops of blood back the insect thought if it had three drops of blood back from him this insect thought she can turn back into a woman again. And so that insect buzzed around and around, incessantly around Noctum. Noctum did not, didn't have a chance to kill the insect. And so unfortunately, unluckily for us, this insect multiplied multiply 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 
multiply means, you know, 3 multiplied by 4 equals 12. So this is multiply. So multiply, the, the insect multiplied, uh, uh, multiplied many times, and now people call this insect mosquito. And that's why we have so many mosquitoes in our world because of this non-deep. The end.